Hi friends, this is your ANR sir, welcoming you to ANR Academy. Yesterday, we were reading your first lesson, Attitude is Attitude. And today we continue reading the lesson. So, let me, first of all, let me give you a gist of the things what you learned yesterday. So Nick was a Tarso. Tarso means what? A person who doesn't have both upper and lower limbs. Clear? Though he doesn't have arms and legs, he is able to do everything. He plays football, he swims, he very actively participate in surf also, though he doesn't have limbs. Clear? And next, from his childhood itself, his parents helped him in order to gain confidence in himself. That is the thing. His father got admitted him in an ordinary school. He didn't send him to any special school meant for the children of his type. And secondly, his mother also invented some special tools in order to do his daily things independently like brushing the teeth, soaping the hair, everything he she invented and for writing for everything she invented some special tools so that he would become an independent person. Clear? So, he said, once he attempted suicide also, but he was not successful in that. Then he thought, when no miracle would come Then he decided, why can't I become a miracle? Why can't I become a miracle? If you cannot get a miracle, become one. Do some miracle so that you gain public attention. Okay. And his friend says, publicist says that he is a strict Christian who believes in virginity. Clear? Though he has a number of friends, he didn't want to have any relationship with girls. So he waited to get married. Clear? And next. So, his parents got admitted him in an ordinary school. Clear? So, let us start our lesson. <coughs> At age 10, Nick tried to drown himself in the bath, but luckily the attempt was unsuccessful. I felt there was no purpose when you lack purpose and strength, it is hard to hold on. So everybody should have a purpose. So here Nick felt that. There is no purpose of his life. 
he thought but later he realized that each and every person has some purpose god would send each and every person on, on this earth on some purpose only later he what realized so how that realization took place when i was 13 i read a newspaper article about a disabled man who had managed to achieve great things and help others this was the turning point for nick's life this was a turning point so he thought he realized why god had made us like this to give hope to others it was so is inspire inspirational to me that i decided to use my life to encourage other people and give them the courage that the article had given me so he wanted to encourage the people not to feel sad about that thing what they do not have but you should be happy with those things what you have so i decided to be thankful for what i do have so whatever the opportunities he has from others he was thankful for that and not get angry about what i don't so this is the thing this is the uh turning point for him when he started to think like this that means now he started looking everything positively i looked at myself in the mirror and said you know what the world is right that i have no arms or legs but they will never take away the beauty of my eyes so he wanted uh, he tried to appreciate the other things what he has i wanted to concentrate on something good that i had so the challenges in our lives are there to strengthen our convictions they are not there to run us over said nick so now he wanted to face the challenges he wanted to make himself strong by not accepting the convictions they are not there to run us over said nick in 1990 nick won the australian young citizen of the year award for his bravery and perseverance uh, perseverance that means for his strong determination and for bravery he received that uh, what award when kids run up to me and ask what happened i just lean over and wish for cigarettes he laughed that means you see he used to make fun of himself so the children out of curiosity they would come and ask what happened to his limbs so he used to take it as a joke and he used to say because i smoke cigarettes so my limbs got vanished like that he used to laugh at himself so for that lot of courage is needed to have fun of you are disability you should have lot of courage and nick has that courage and once i was in a car and a girl at traffic lights was giving me the eye so you see naturally the young children have some attraction against opposite gender gender so maybe that girl saw nick's face and got fascinated and wanted to look at him so she started looking at him she could only see my hand so i decided to do a 360 in the car seat to freak her out so in order to show himself completely he wanted to make that girl to see some unusual thing unexpected thing so what he did he completely 
made a round of himself and completely shown about his disabilities seeing that her face was like who what is going on she sped off really quickly so immediately she ran out of that place seeing the miserable things what nick has nick began traveling the world and in 2008 he went to hawaii and met surfing master bethany hamilton who had her arm bitten off by a shark when she was she was 12 you see he went to hawaii there he met a lady trainer surfing master and she had only one arm clear she was amazing and said nick she taught me how to surf and i was terrified at first but once i got up there it felt absolutely fantastic and i caught some waves pretty well so she taught she taught the techniques of surfing i think you know what is surfing uh ah, you can watch some photographs then you can understand better clear nick quickly learned how to do the 360 degree spins on his body a feat that got him on the cover of surf magazine within 48 hours so he used to turn the 360 degrees so this feat made him to have his photograph published in the famous surf magazine no one has ever done that in the history of surfing is said but i have very low center of gravity so i have got pretty good balance so he could able to do that within few hours so because of one advantage what is that having low center of gravity because his limbs were not there so that made him to have a low center of gravity which allowed him to turn 360 degrees while surfing he has visited different countries all over the world the football fan is now a motivational speaker now he has chosen his profession he become a famous motivational speaker so you see some people they come and give speeches in order to motivate the people so now he has chosen that profession and become a successful motivational speaker and he traveled over 24 countries and spoke to group of people up to 1 lakh 10000 people so he has become a very famous motivational speaker so he traveled 24 countries that is the thing you should you should not feel sad and close your doors thinking what disability you have rather you should feel happy for other things what god has provided god has provided him a good speaking skills so he used that he used that and started giving motivational speeches and traveled all over 24 countries clear he moved to los angeles and 2 years ago and plans to continue to travel the world this year he will visit south america and middle east if i fail i try again and again and again you see this is the thing what you should remember you should not give up you should not give up when you taste the failure 
you should go on trying when you go on trying you become perfect and one day or other you become successful in that if you fail you are going to try again so keep on trying the human spirit can handle much worse than we realize it matters how we are going to finish are we going to finish from said nick so always you should check the last minute the last minute is very very important that would change the entire picture the difference between the first prize winner and second prize winner in hurdles few seconds difference and that few seconds difference would make him first and other person second that is the thing how do you finish the thing it is very very important i tell people to keep on getting up when they fall and to always love themselves so whenever you fail don't stop there whenever you fail don't stop there keep on trying keep on trying then definitely you become successful in your life if i can encourage just one person then my job in this life is done so this is the motto of nick each and every person would think like that all that like that only i also feel same thing if i help at least a student to come from the last bench to first bench i feel that my job is over i do not see how uh, for how many people i made them to get 90% marks in english at least if i am successful in making a failure to be a successful person so like that everybody would think so now this lesson is over i think you enjoyed my teaching so my thank you for watching and do subscribe to my channel and tomorrow i come up with a new lesson till then have a nice day tata bye bye